up everyone? This is again Filipina related and for today's vlog, I am with Claire from <laughs> Filipina, Filipina Talks. Talks. And for today's video, everyone, is that I have prepared another set of questions for her. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Okay. But before that, I'm gonna ask you, how are you today? I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling pretty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm good. Thank you for asking. And first question is that, what do you think is the most attractive quality in a person to be chosen as a life partner? First of all, thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like in Miss Universe. Okay. Um, for me, the most quality, like attractive to be chosen as a life partner, I think someone who is God-fearing. Wow, God fearing. It's very important, you know. Um, everything will follow. You no, know, like everything will follow naturally. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very important to make God to be the center of everything. To you know, um, especially when you have a problems, um, you should go first to God. Everything that you do in your life, you should like um include God in everything because everything you have right now in your life wouldn't be perfect as you know as we wanted or wouldn't be like um good if without God. So for me like a God-fearing and I really wanted to have a partner or to choose a partner who is a God-fearing like aligned with me I mean it doesn't have he doesn't have to be like to pray all the time yes. to you know to go to churches all the time but at least um someone who believes in God who believes in God has faith in God the second question is that <laughs> what a physical feature do you find most attractive in a guy physical feature I find most attractive in a guy mm, height Height. Yeah, height. But you know, it doesn't matter for me. Like, I mean, I'm not into, I'm not looking into physical appearance as long as the inside is very, you know. Yes. The inside yeah, part. Yeah, is very important for me. But since you asked me that, okay, I'm just going to answer like. Height. Height. And as a Filipina, what is your idea of a perfect first date? Oh, perfect um first date for me is, you know, some... Well, me, um, personally, I really wanted to experience a beach, a kind of beach date. Like having a wine together with a person that you like or someone, special someone. And having a deep conversation on a beach and hearing the beautiful um, natural sea breeze. Yeah, like that. Whatever you call that. So, yeah, for, um, beach date. But for me, I think um, if a guy would, you know, um, would text you, um, would text you like, be ready at 8 p.m., I'm going to fetch you and you know mm -hmm. just wear anything that you're comfy with and i'm gonna fetch you at, you know like that kind of like at date yes. or, yeah you would be um oh my god <laughs> oh, yeah. especially when you like the person so mm -hmm. okay so yeah and is sexual chemistry important to you sexual chem not really but let's be honest here um you you mean like um sexual like, yeah. sexually you yes. know like with the partner? Yes, yeah, sexually active like that. Well, it's not important, but if I am in relationship, I think that's given already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's given in relationship to have a sex with your partner, but not all the time because you have to be careful, especially when you are not financially stable. You have to be careful if you can raise the child, um, you know, if you are financially stable enough, if um, you are mentally, spiritually, and financially prepared. So you have to be careful. So, yeah. So for you, it is given already if... You yeah, it's given in relationship. Mm -hmm. As long as your partner... As long as your partner did not rape you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, in relationship, uh, yeah. Next question is that, are you the no strings attached or commitment type of person? Commitment type of person. That That's why I, um, I'm always getting, you know, um, abuse in relationship or... Um, being taken for granted all the time because you know I love to commit I give my all to the partner that you know to my ex let's say for my previous relationship or exes I give my all so that's yeah commitment type I don't want like no string attached like a like a fling something I don't like that because I date to marry okay and next question is that would you marry someone of a different faith like um, both of you have different religion that's kind of sensitive, you know, sensitive topic. But if both of us, let's say, for example, if we've got different um, beliefs or mm -hmm. different religion, um, oh my God, that's very hard. I cannot really, I don't want to be like, I don't want to sugarcoat things just so for the views. But, you know, it's very hard. And I think I will know my answer until I get with that situation, mm -hmm. like an actual situation. But 
for as long as I am not in that situation, I think it's better to um, it's better to you know um. Oh my God, that's a hard or that's a tough question. I, I think there's no problem. Mm -hmm. There's no problem. You have to talk about that because it, that's very um serious matter you have to mm -hmm. talk about that with your partner especially if you want to work things out with your partner and you want to be the end game of each other and you want to like marry each other i think you have to talk about how you would um oh, how like would you like overcome yeah overcome that or um work things out if someone w who is willing to sacrifice their you know and yeah. to transfer to another yes. but it would depend on the situation please don't judge me but i'm just being transparent and real here it depends i cannot tell if i could do that or won't but there's a possibility that i can sacrifice my own or mm -hmm. there's a big possibility that i can marry or love someone that i don't i mean we're not the same Yo, it's well, possible um, work things out yeah you will talk things out so it, it, there's a possibility for me so that's my answer and next question is that would you move across the world to be with someone you love yeah we you know when i love someone um i mean like for me if i love someone i don't i mean like i don't love and ask for something in return mm -hmm. if i love someone i love unconditionally mm -hmm. so when we say unconditionally a kind of love that you're not asking for anything in return you just love the feeling of loving someone and yeah for me um i can do everything for the person that i love I can even sacrifice my own happiness for him. That's uh right, -huh. ba? <laughs> so yeah, next question is that, do you believe that making love shouldn't simply take place in bed? Hmm, I can't say yes because I think most of the people, especially in this generation, in this generation, um, girls, I mean like couples are having sex not only in bed. Everywhere, I guess. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. In a hotel, in a bed in a hotel, in the car. in their house, in the car, that's happening in this generation. So, but I don't judge in the kitchen. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. We don't know anywhere they could make love. Make love as long as it's not public. Yes, shame on that. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that's the end of our um, attribute charis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Claire from Filipina Talks. So please, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, it's Filipina Talks. And if you guys are, um, want to visit our channel, please do watch all our videos or leave a comment down if you have suggestions or like our videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.